Today we'll design a letterhead. So first of all, we need to set up the page. For letterhead, we need to use A4 sheet size. So here you'll find some ready-made uh, sheets. So I'll select this A4 sheet and click on create. So this is our uh, letterhead artboard. And now from the toolbar, take this rectangular tool, change the color from here and remove the outlines. And now here, let's draw a small rectangle at the top. Up to here. And now take this direct selection tool let me zoom in so that you can see it nicely. And after selecting this direct selection tool, now select this anchor point and by using arrow key on your keyboard, move this point towards left hand side and make an angular shape at the end like this. Now take this one down by pressing Alt key and make it a duplicate and place it here. So for this I'll take up to up to here and I'll take this direct selection tool. I'll select this anchor point and this point by pressing shift key and by using arrow key I'll take it towards left hand side once again if you use shift key and arrow key it will move more faster like this and now let's take this rectangular tool and here from this corner let me draw a rectangle up to here and now from here take this delete anchor point tool and delete delete this point and we made it a triangle now let me take this one little bit upward by using arrow key and here uh, leave a little bit gap this much is fine and now take this rectangular tool once again and from here to to this end draw a rectangle and let me change the color for this and do right click on your mouse and send it to back and you can drag it take this shape by pressing alt key make it a duplicate here After making duplicate, take this rectangular tool and here up to this much of height, make a rectangle. Now select this rectangle and this new triangle by pressing shift key. Now take this shape builder tool or no need to use shape builder tool. Let me show you in other way you can do it. You can uh, click on minus front that's it now select this one and do right click and send it to back let me change uh, this color to this one and now take the pen tool and here draw a line up to here now increase the stroke from here and expand it. After expanding, you need to unite it and you can change the color. And let me take this one here. You can drag it and make the size a little bit smaller and place here.
now if you see here this is not perfect so take this rectangular tool and here i'll cut it and this extra line also uh, this extending area also i'll cut it so i'll select this one this one and this one by pressing shift key and i'll take this shape builder tool or even you can do the minus front from here that's it i'll make duplicate of this and i'll place this one on this side so what i'll do i'll select this one and from here i'll select this reflect tool now by pressing alt key i'll drag this center to the center of this this one but i can't see any center here so just i'll leave it here and select this vertical copy and by using arrow key you can take it to the other end now by using this rectangular tool here i'll draw a small rectangle here and i'll change the the color to this i'll do right click and send it to back so let me select this one and here is a gradient color options if you don't have this then you can go to the window and you you can add this and from here you can use any gradient color ready-made options are given and i'll change the color to this gradient so here i'll i'll choose uh, this dark red and the light red color So this one, this side I'll make a little bit more darker. So I'll select this gradient sli slider, this first option. And from here, I'll do the sliding. And make this side a little bit more darker. Now what I'll do, I'll transfer this same gradient color to this one and this one. So I'll select this one, this one, and this one by pressing shift key. I'll take this eyedropper tool and I'll just click over this and this color will be transferred to those selected objects. Now I'll fix this gradient color angle. So I'll from here I'll take this gradient tool and I'll just drag it like that and I'll fix the color let me drag this one and place it here take me up to this one and i'll choose this color so from here i'll take those icons and place it here so let me change the color for those we need some text to use so i'll take this text and i'll place it here and align it to the horizontally center and here i'll use some icons and details so let me take those three here make it smaller in size and place it here pin code and here you, you will use your website www.yourwebsite.com and here you will use your mail id your mail id at the rate gmail.com and at the top we need to use some logo so here i am having some ready-made logo to be used 
so I'll use one of the logo let me drag this one and use this logo here content creator we are done now hope you like this tutorial thank you